Whoop, whoop. Hey guys, it's WormConnor007 here. How much do you actually hate these comms? Like, see if you hate these comms. Do me a favor, leave a like on the video. I actually want to see how many people actually hate those comms. See those comms? Hate those comms. Right, end it. Guys, right here, there's round the corner. Uh, what you should be doing is working hard towards getting a free fire glyph saddle. Now, if you've not seen this already, um, if we go here to our mastery, and um, we go to training mastery, once you achieve level 65, guys, you can pick up a Faraglyph saddle. You can pick up one for free, yeah, for free, guys. So if you do not know about the other saddles, if you look here, if we go on to Rally Ranch, you can always pick up what is your Trumbull one you could have picked up for free um, from the rancher. Um, you could have done the event and got an El Iguana for free. And then the other ones are all paid for. Um, I know I've got a couple of myself. It's this guy here when you go to Rally Ranch. Um, so as you can see, I've got the, the right seven ones. Normally a Falkyrie, Him, Himber, Steer Knight, all these ones are usually 100 Robux. Um, Dusk is 150. Guys, this here is not going to cost you anything except for a bit of time in terms of grinding on your mastery. Um, if you don't already have uh, a Paramount, it's a random encounter, but then what you want to do is you want to get your hand on these Ancient Scepters. Now, I think it's level 50, it's round level 50, um, once you get to level 50 on Mastery, you'll get an Ancient Scepter for free and it'll allow you to buy um, Ancient Scepters in the Battle Coliseum. Um, I've got four, I probably need one so I'll probably going to be doing a giveaway soon and I've like, I've two boxes of Paramines as well to give away. Um, so keep an eye on that, I might do it on Twitter, I might do it on stream, um, make sure that you keep aware on it guys so if you don't follow me on twitter guys um very very simple and um, it's just at connell 007 um do you have me follow a chat on a flat out there as well so this ferroglyph saddle that's coming out what do you guys actually think it's going to look like do you think it's going to be like kind of like dusk it where you go through do you think it's going to be kind of like dieborg where you're like right on the shoulders um we've all seen the hember one where he like picks you up and throws you over his shoulder um do you think it could be like guard drone? Um, perhaps if we go on the guard drone and see what it, the guard drone has it where it hovers. Do you think that the paramind is going to go above and hover? Also, guys, if you're sitting there thinking, what else can I do? Well, as you can see on the saddles, I've obviously got gamma guard drone here. You know, if I had an alpha, it would change here as well. You know, maybe you could be grinding to try and get one of the alphas or the gammas on paramines. Now they're pretty hard to get, like. But that's something that you could definitely, definitely be doing. Um, so again, guys, a free saddle that's going to be there. Um, I know a few people would, you know, want to be doing it. But the big thing that you need to be working on is obviously your mastery. Um, since you're here, um, I'll give you a few mastery tips. First of all, the starters are going to be the longest thing to do because the rally it takes out quite a long time. Um, regards to these guys, you know, you might even want to get a friend on PvP as well to battle on, um, so you're you're feeding them a lot quicker be something a lot easier um, with these um, again they're pretty straightforward they rally really quick to be honest with you um, Cinemoth a lot of people struggle with Cinemoth because of this paralyze and put people to sleep if you go to battle Coliseum you can relearn the spore moves with Cinemoth um, may cost you a couple of CP but it's worth it um, again down here straightforward um, I guess most of these are you just need to spend a bit of time I would always say concentrate on one but what I would say is while you're concentrating on, on them, um, always make sure you have something in your rally ranch as well. Ones that are going to kind of struggle to do is the calf note ones. It says form a perfect bond. What it, what you can get by getting a perfect bond is you want to put your Lumion in the top where I've got Faraglyph there for example. And then what you want to do is run around. Um, even if you have it in your saddle, even if you're on your saddle like this, you can run around for about 20, I think it's about 20 to 40 minutes. And then once their happiness is ecstatic, so when you turn around and talk to them. So if I talk to Fergus now. He's just happy at the moment, but once they're ecstatic, um, then do one battle. And I'll bring it across. Now, the tricky ones are obviously like some Mutagon. You do obviously get a Mutagon yourself um, from the encounter for the soft reset. But you need to capture a, a wild one to try and get that experience because... The one you have is a high level, you'll need a, a second one, so we can either pick up by trade and so on. Um, again with Protagon, you need to capture one, you can't just trade it. Um, same with Ikazune, and is it the same with Duskip? Yeah, so you need to get your rooms on, but guys, as you can see, 
no timeline on when the update is. If I had to predict, I would probably guess it's going to be the last weekend in September. Um, everyone's expecting a Halloween event. We haven't heard anything. The last thing we've heard from the developers was probably two weeks ago about DUMV. Been completely silent on Discord and there's been like no communication at all. All we can assume is that they're working hard. Um, last time I checked, they actually had updated the test server only a, a day or two ago as well. So they are definitely working behind the scenes as well. So guys, let me know what you think on the, the comments section regards to the, the Fire Glyph saddle. How do you think it's going to do? Some people are saying we're going to go inside it. Some people are saying it's going to lift us. Some of us say it's going to use its wand and we're going to just you know go on its wand. There's loads of different things it could potentially be. Um, what do you guys think it's going to be? And guys, don't forget, leave a like if you hate those cones. I'm expecting this to be my most liked video because everyone hates those cones. So guys, I'm going to leave it off there. I've been WarmCarnal007. Keep it country.